Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wasserman and today we are going to be looking at the home links activity for Unit 1, Lesson 4. Uh, this has to do with uh, identifying, comparing, ordering, and rounding numbers that can be up in the millions. The title of this activity is Professional Sports Attendance. It's very similar to the one that we did uh, in 1.3. Uh, let's take a look at the table at the top of the page. It says, the table below shows the attendance for various 2013 through 2014 professional sports teams. Use the table and a place value tool to answer the questions. And it shows uh, several teams who have both a hockey team and a baseball team in their city. Uh, so let's take a uh, look at the first question. Which sport had the greater attendance? So we have to think about which of these sets of numbers uh, are bigger. Well, that's pretty obvious when we look because just comparing Chicago, um, Chicago Blackhawks are the NHL team uh, for uh, that city. And baseball, they actually have two teams. They have the Cubs and the White Sox. So it's no surprise that baseball has the larger attendance. That's because it's in the millions. I know it's in the millions because it has two commas separating seven digits, whereas this number above only has one comma, and that's separating six digits. Uh, so obviously baseball would be the sport that had the greater attendance So now it's asking us to round the attendance of hockey games, uh, but it's asking us to round them uh, to different place values. Uh, nearest 100,000 and nearest 10,000. So let's look at Chicago again. Chicago's hockey attendance was 927,545. Now that's sometimes useful to just round to the nearest 100,000, but sometimes we want a, an estimate to be a little bit more specific. So let's first start with the 100,000. So I'm going to use my roller coaster model. My roller coaster model has a hill, and on both sides of that hill I need to find the groups of 100,000 that the number 927,545 falls between. Well, it starts with a 9, so I'm going to start with 900,000. So on the left-hand side of this hill, I'm going to write 9 with 5 zeros behind it, 900,000. Well, what number comes after 9? Well, that would be 10. So on the other side, I'm going to write 10 hundred thousands, ten hundred thousands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, as you can see, ten hundred thousands, that first part has four digits on the left-hand side of that comma, which tells me I need another comma because I separate place values, uh, digits in a large number, every three digits with a comma, so I'm going to interject another comma right here. So as you can see, when you go beyond 900,000, when you have 10 hundred thousands, that's the same as saying one million. So what's the halfway mark between 900 and 1,000? Well, that would be 950. And I'm going to write that at the top of the hill, 950. Because whenever I am thinking about rounding the halfway point between two digits or two numbers, I always look at the digit to the uh, right of the, of the number I'm rounding, the digit I'm rounding. So 950,000 is the halfway mark. So when I look at 927,545, the 2 
comes before the 5. So 927 comes before 950. The 2 comes before the 5. So the 927,545 would live on the left-hand side of the hill. And then again, if I'm using that roller coaster model, it hasn't made its way up the hill enough to uh, clear the halfway point, so it's going to slide back down. And so I'm going to round down to 900,000. So if I asked the question, 927,545, is that closer to 900,000 or 10 groups of 1,000? otherwise known as a million, I would say it's closer to 900,000. Now, I'm going to take that same number, 927,545, and I'm going to round it a different way, just to the nearest 10,000. So let's take a look at that number again, using a different model, still utilizing the roller coaster. But instead of 900,000 being on my left-hand side, I'm going to use 920,000. Because I'm looking to round to the nearest 10,000, and that is the digit in the 10,000's place value, 2. So on the other side of my roller coaster hill is 900. 30, or 9 with a 3 behind it. So the difference between 920 and 930, the halfway point, is going to be 925. So if you can just ignore the zeros for a moment, the extra zeros here, here, and here, we are comparing 920, 925, and 930. So, the number of folks who attended a Blackhawks game in the 2013-2014 uh, season was 927 and some change, as I like to say. 927. So, 925 is right here. So 927 would be somewhere over here. Because 27 is bigger than 25. So if I had to round to the nearest 10,000 between 920 and 930, 927 is closer to 930. That roller coaster uh, car has gone up and over the hill and now gravity's pulling it to the right to that next place value. So whereas I would round 927,545 to the nearest 100,000, it would round down. If I round it to the nearest 10,000, it's going to round up to 930,000. Okay, the last thing I want to look at um, is this problem right here, number five. It says, write a number sentence comparing the greatest and least baseball attendances use less than, greater than, or equal to. Okay, so greatest and least baseball attendances. So I would look at the table up at the top and look for the number that's the biggest and look for the number that is the smallest. Okay, so the biggest number in the millions starts with a three, and that number is 3,565,718. So Philadelphia, okay? The Philadelphia Phillies had the largest attendance for baseball. So I'm going to write that number down right here. 3,565,000. Five thousand seven hundred eighteen. Now, since I started with the largest number first, I'm going to put the greater than symbol. That 
alligator is it's got its mouth open to the large number. So now what I have to do is I have to find the smallest number in the millions. So the smallest number in the million starts with a two, and it's the Washington team. It's the Washington uh, Senators, I believe, is the uh, baseball team. Two million three hundred and seventy thousand. That's compared to Chicago's two million eight hundred thousand and some change. So I'm going to write this number down here. Two million three hundred and seventy thousand. 794. So that is how I would write a number sentence comparing the largest amount to the smallest amount. I just have to use the right symbol. Okay? Please take a few moments to try the rest of the problems. Uh, if you have questions, please reach out to me. Otherwise, we will talk again soon. Thanks.